What is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is an area of science that includes the relationship between heat and other kinds of energy. Before moving any further, let's go over some vocabulary. Heat is the transfer of kinetic energy from one medium or object to another, or from an energy source to a medium or object. Thermal energy is the kinetic energy of the movement of atoms and molecules. Entropy is the measure of a disorder in a system. Thermal equilibrium is the temperature of interest that are unchanging in time and uniform in space. Thermodynamics can be broken down into three laws. The first law of thermodynamics is the change in thermal energy on an object is equal to the heat added to the object minus the work done by the object. In other words, Work is heat, and heat is work. The second law of thermodynamics is natural processes go in a direction that maintains or increases the total entropy of the universe. In other words, all things will become more and more distorted unless some action is taken to keep them ordered. The zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if two systems are in thermal equilibrium with a third system, they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. In other words, if two systems are at the same temperature as a third system, the all three will be in thermal equilibrium. <laughs> what triggers the volcano to erupt? The Earth's crust is made up of huge slabs called plates, which fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. These plates sometimes move and when two plates collide, one section slides on top of the other, while the other one beneath is pushed down, causing the volcano to erupt. Now, after learning about the laws of thermodynamics and how volcanoes work, we now can see that Volcano eruption can be classified under the first law of thermodynamics. Why, you ask? Well, the hot magma inside of the volcano is pushing to release and during those moments, there's an increase of heat and work inside the volcano. With the thermal energy changing inside, the motion of the volcano's internal particles are moving quicker and quicker, increasing the thermal energy inside, causing it to erupt. Thermodynamics explained a step-by-step -step on converting Fahrenheit to Celsius to Kelvin. Problem. The inner core temperature of a volcano is 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Convert the following from Fahrenheit to Celsius to Kelvin. Equations. TF stands for temperature in Fahrenheit. TC stands for temperature in Celsius. And TK stands for temperature in Kelvin. The temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. The temperature in Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32. The temperature in Kelvin is equal to the temperature in, Cel in Celsius plus 273.15. To start this problem, you need to get your knowns and unknowns. Step 2 is to find your equation. Step 3 would be to plug in your variables and then solve for your answer. Now that we have gotten our temperature in Celsius, we can convert it to Kelvin. Now we find the equation to use when converting Celsius to Kelvin. Step 6. Plug in your variables. Step 7. Solve. Step 8. Answer time. <laughs> Thermodynamics. Problem number 2. A .8 sample of water at 60 degrees Celsius is mixed with a 0.05 kilogram sample of lava 
at 704 degrees Celsius. Assume that there is no heat loss to the surroundings. What is the final temperature of the mix? The specific heat of water is 4180 and the specific heat of lava is 840. Let's get started. Step 1. Make a chart of your knowns and unknowns. Step 2. Find your equation. Step 3. Plug in the appropriate variables and solve. For your answer! 